Hello everyone. In this video, we will discuss about the unit 3, a transport layer in computer networks. Let us discuss the topic to be covered in this chapter, introduction about the transport layer, the transport layer services and its protocol, multiplexing and demultiplexing in transport layer, connectionless transport layer protocol UDP, a principle of reliable data transfer RDT, connection oriented transport protocol TCP and conjunction control and flow control. Now let's discuss about the transport layer services and its protocol. As we seen unit 1 video in that the transport layer responsibility in OSI layer. So now let's recall the transport layer responsibility. It is responsible for the message acknowledgement, the message segmentation, message traffic control as well as the error free delivery means reliable data delivery from end to end systems. In this figure, here in this network the end system connect with the logical end to end communication means in transport layer it provide a logical end to end transportation. So we can say the transport layer protocol run in the end system. So we can say that the transport layer protocol are implemented in end systems but not in the network router. So on sending side the transport layer convert the application layer messages it received from sending application process into the transport layer packets. We know it is a transport layer segment. On the receiving side, the transport layer reassembles segments into messages and pass it into upper layer means application layer. So, at the network layer protocol, it provides logical communication between host, but in transport layer protocol, it gives logical communication between application processes on different host. In this layer, we discuss about the TCP and UDP protocol. The TCP is transmission control protocol used in reliable data transfer connection oriented communication and UDP user datagram protocol it use in unreliable data transmission and connection less service communication. Let us discuss transport layer service and protocol using this example. In this example the west side house and east side house. 12 member are staying in this west side house Similar, 12 members are staying in each side house. Now, the host and system denote as a house. A process is denote as a cousin, which are staying in west side as well as east side house. A transport layer protocol in end system means N is a one of the cousin from west side house and Bill is one of the cousin in each side house. So all members are cousins each other. Now a application message is denote as a letter in envelope. It means each of the cousin write a letter and drop in envelope and post to the other house. So total 144 letters are there. Now the network layer protocol denote as a postal services including the mail person. The N responsibility is to collecting a mail from other members and distribute it to the postman. Similar over here. A bill responsibility is that to collecting a mail from other cousins and pass it to the postal man. N and Bill doing distributing that mail to the other member when it received from the east side. Similar over here. Now the distributing and collecting a mail in end system side, not in network side. So network side responsibility is from 
postal services which including a mail person now the mail transfer from west side to east side means it is a part of the network layer protocol responsibility using this example we can say a transport layer provide a logical communication means collecting and distributing mail in house it is between the process running on the different host and a network layer protocol provide logical communication between host so the transport layer protocol responsible for providing logical communication in application running on and systems and a network layer protocol provide logical communication between different host in next video we will discuss about multiplexing and demultiplexing in transport layer